Hey, oh, nerdites, this is Josh from Super Nerdland here. Uh, here with a late episode 2 for Dungeon Souls. Uh, half because I got busy, half because I did hear that there was going to be an update coming to this game, and lo and behold, Monday there was a fairly significant update to the early access Dungeon Souls from Mike Studios and uh, Black Shell Media here. Uh, it added a, a score of things and uh, tweaked other stuff, fixed some other things. They did add a difficulty over here, which, uh, you know, I have to get past normal to even get to the hard mode. And mm, if you saw my first episode, I'm gonna, it's gonna take some time to get past normal. <laughs> this game is difficult. That or I just really suck. Um, last episode, you saw me go through with the barbarian with the thief. The barbarian accidentally because I meant to select the archer, which was what I was having, uh, the most fun with and the most uh, luck with last time. Though a little bit squishier than the Barbarian, which is, I think, the only reason why I got to the boss. But then I got wrecked to the boss because I don't have the skill involved yet. Evidently. That or this game's just... the uh, ball's tough. I'm trying to decide if I, uh, if I suck at this or if this is just really overly tough. I think I just suck. Ooh, ooh. I played a decent amount of the the game everybody's trying to, you know, chase the coattails of uh, when they make these games, Binding of Isaac. I think the best the best games kind of add their own soul and their own twist and everything to it, uh, to the formula. And this game definitely does. Oh uh, yeah, this last update added a lot of UI stuff. Definitely new. Ooh, killed already, jeez. Yeah, they added a lot of UI stuff and I am noticing that from uh, when you get hit now. I have that, uh... Fireballs look, uh, nice. I think there's a recent addition, because I do not remember these things shooting things at me constantly in the last playthrough. I was kind of having a thought on, uh, on roguelikes, as this is a really crowded genre people are trying to get into. And I've noticed that, yeah, uh, they, they're a pretty... It seems like a simpler game to go ahead and try to pull off. At least, uh, you know, get executed, but I think it is definitely a harder game to make compelling in the long term for players and get that Binding of Isaac kind of uh, longevity to a game. I noticed that the best ones do tend to uh, not just have the core thing going through the game. Uh, they have something like, you know, you're unlocking new classes, new styles, and everything as you go through. And that's, you know, Dungeon Souls does have that. You have, uh... If I die again, I'll go back to the main class selection and take a look at the specific uh, requisites for one ahead and logging some of the other characters, because it does look like they're going to have quite a number of characters in this game, and I've seen them uh, like gating and then unlocking more and as uh, the updates have come. Okay, we've come. We need to do one of five. One of five. So at least this game isn't uh, time limit based. There was another game that I was playing, uh, and I'll have recorded for the site here. That's actually really fun in its own right, but it's uh, part of its gimmick is oops, part of its gimmick is to make the thing uh, time limited. And mm, I don't know how quite I feel about that because I do like the game itself, but be it, like. You do have uh, upgrades to the time of it. I'm, I'm not going to go into that game too much. I'm going to talk about this game. Why am I talking about another game as I'm playing Dungeon Souls? Because maybe I have a little bit of ADD. Oh, I'm trying to now just find a safe place to do this level up in. Level up, level up, level up. Defense. Let's try to take a quick look at that. Yeah, they did change the uh, level up just a little bit. Not yet working. Well, thank you for letting me know that's not, that's not yet working. Oh guy with this uh, multi-shots wrecking me from all the hallways. Let's see if we can do some sniping in here. All the monies! All the monies for me! All the monies for me! Oh yeah, shoot. I do need to go back to uh, back to that shop that I have. Plenty of monies for some upgrades. Okay, so let's go try to find him again. Quit! Trying to kill me, even though that's the whole point of the game. So... Oh. Uh, I used the mushroom that I had. I don't think that was even all that good for me to use. I didn't pay much attention. I kind of picked it up in a panic as I was trying to avoid death. I swear... 
we are going to get to the boss on this playthrough. Or we're at least going to play for 15-20 minutes until I know that you're getting tired of watching me die over and mm, over again. See, I saw that too. I saw that. Uh, let's go to this real quick because I wanted to show you. So here's an unknown hero. You have to defeat the Skeleton King for that one. Find Merlin's hat. Defeat the Soul Guardian. So we have a few different classes here that... Uh, oh, and the Nightblade's unlocked. Ooh. I don't know if this is part of just the early access and testing, or if, like, I did something to actually unlock this, or if this is just... I don't know. Let's go try out a Nightblade. It sounds interesting. Sounds like it's probably gonna be a... Oh! Oh, look at the hammer! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, wow! That, I got blasted in the face. Hey! I'm not so sure about these uh, sw slow swipes. I'll definitely have to get used to those. 50% chance to scratch it and we hit. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Let's equip it. Let's go. What's wrong with it? Oh. Oh, it doesn't even look like we go anywhere down there. Oh, randomly procedurally generated dungeons. You have some silliness sometimes. Jeez, I'm I'm not feeling too good actually about this. Ah, jeez. As I said, I wasn't feeling too good about this, and I'm like I'm gonna die like right here. Ooh. 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 No, I thought I was gonna die. Okay, weapon switch. Transform hammer into a dark chakra. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. Now this could be a lot better. I oh oh oh. He, I I I, I can see getting used to this. He, oh shoot. Okay, so we're gonna uh, switch to that chakra right off the bat here. I don't know how, if the bounces are controlled by me yet or not, but it can at least. Whoa. Okay. Kind of had a shield action going there. Okay, if I learn to control this properly, I think I can get used to this. Die, monster! Oh man, this game is... It, it seems like this got way more difficult during the last patch as well, because uh, I'm not so sure about... You see all these things shooting fire over here? That's kind of causing a... Uh, Causing me to be, be, be not very, very confident going through here. Uh, accuracy, speed, defense, damage. Jeez. There's the magic. Uh, resistance, speed. We'll put our resistance up. God bless getting health on levels. That is a mechanic that I will never, never shit talk. As thematic sense it never makes. Shop down here. I got some money. Let's see what we can get if we can clear this out. Do it a do it a tad bit better. The chakram's it's not seemingly as strong as some other stuff, but it yeah ammo. I mean ammo. Armor. Definitely armor. Want all the armor. And looks like it was a thorn armor too, which I'll probably be able to see as I go back in this playthrough. Release all the traps. Releasing the traps ain't so bad, just don't stand around for them. And health potions are now automatic as, this, as of this new update, which I am uh, happy for as well, because as you can see, this game can get a little frantic and all that anyway. Boy, once you get to using this chakra, this chakra which seems OP, I guess that's why it's not doing a lot of damage, though so I can always... Rage! I will rage all over your face. Beer. I'll have some beer. I should probably start paying attention to the descriptions of items more, but I'm just kind of picking them up like, Ooh, upgrades! Yeah, sounds good! Take it! Some of them might actually be detrimental or something that I do not want. What? Bad shinies? There's no such thing as bad shinies. Eat. Eat. I can definitely dig the chakra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I can definitely dig starting to get the hell out of the way of boulders when I uh, 
go ahead and trigger those. I am triggered by my lack of skill. Level two. All right, that's that's a good sign. Ooh, I like the magnet because that draws in uh, money automatically to you. Is it sad that I'm excited that I'm like, yeah, level two, woohoo? Or is it just that kind of game? Half and half. I will never stop making fun of my life skills, so I hope you don't all like self appreciating humor. It's an honor to just participate. I will get my participation badge for for getting the level two on easy. Actually, I think I have a couple of uh, levels here. Maybe yes, I do. Increase the damage of this, the defense of that a little bit. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. Make love to that. Yeah, I can, I can really see this Chakram's behavior getting a little bit patched, because... Now, as long as I'm paying attention to where uh, damage is coming from, this seems a little bit uh, too cheaty? Too powerful? I don't know. Ooh, I'm getting better at that. If you saw my last playthrough, I was notoriously bad at avoiding those spikes. Ooh. I'm just not going to go down through that hallway, because I'm pretty sure I can circle back up around here. Silly randomly procedurally... procedurated. I almost said procedurated. That's... that's just... We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't want me. I'm not the man you're looking for. You did not see me. I am John Cena. I need more keys so I can unlock those chests. Rage up! What do we got here for upgrades? 50% chance to increase damage by 2%. Increase damage by 1%. Potion of Revive. I think I'll get that Potion of Revive. Oh! I must... If you saw the last playthrough, you saw the Redeemer, and I really need to get to this because the Redeemer is big and scary and he sucks life for me. Oh, look at this! It's the boss! Woo! Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I got this. I got this. Just gotta shmup it up in here. Shmup it up. If I just... I just gotta... Just keep on using Chakram. Just keep the Chakram out there, and I don't even have to keep on clicking, Josh. I don't know why I do that. Just keep this out there. Keep Frosty. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this... This... This is my new favorite class, as long as they don't nerf it, but I have a real big feeling that there's going to be some nerfing happening in this. Because compared to the other classes, this Nightblade is just ridiculously more fun to play with. But also more fun to play with, because it's easier to play with. Oh, gotta watch out, gotta watch out. I can dance all day! Woo! 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 Okay, that's probably the that there's not any more, uh... Ooh. Did you see all these, all these shinies? I like shinies. Woo, okay. Oh, we're gonna take a, take a little breath here. We're gonna recover from the, uh, from having the, uh, the, the shiny overload and excitement that I'm actually doing kind of good. And we're gonna, we're gonna travel to level four. Okay, try to be careful. Hey, oh, okay. I was gonna say, don't don't start just going off on randomly on me. I need my weapon. What do we want here? 50% chance to Ooh! 50% chance to or 100 percent chance to get hit by a boulderism. Nope. Okay, whatever, we'll take it. See, you can't stand around too much in these games. Just kind of, you know. It's downfall to me because I like reading descriptions and sometimes having the, the, the time to read things. I, I don't know the happy medium to keeping everything super action-packed and uh, also having the time to you know, ponder your choices. But then again, are these games really to ponder your choices? Or are these to just uh, try to get as far as you can while staying alive and uh, seeing what kind of semi-random combinations of power you get? I don't know. Oh, oh. New enemies. They're bigger. They're more powerful. Eee! Of course, there's going to be new enemies. They're bigger and more powerful. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, it's some observation that's uh, relevant and that you 
you shouldn't have noticed already. Whew, okay, we're gonna have to be just a tad bit more careful in here. And try to come back to me, weapon. And try to pre-clear rooms before. Nope, you're not gonna get me. Nope. I wanna live. I still got life in me. Oh. Everything's kind of scaring me because I only got 20 health left and that's pretty much one one or two hits from what I've been noticing with this uh, Nightblade character. Ooh. Ooh. I am so tense right now. Okay, we got some health back. That's a plus. Still really, really, really scared. We can't just fucking stay in the same area because... They're gonna keep on pushing new enemies to me if you stay in the same area. Okay, nothing to do down there. We're looking, we're looking for the... We're looking for the pads of light. But the ones that I haven't already gotten... Boy, I'm... I'm so anxious now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, well, only three health. This is... Not gonna go good. Let's go down here. Okay. Oh, seriously? Well, that's been Dungeon Souls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> At least I got to show you uh, me beating the first level boss, which I think that was the Skeleton King? That would have unlocked... Hmm. I guess maybe that wasn't the Skeleton King. Figured that was going to unlock a hero here. But yeah, I think if I... I might do ran just randomize all my next playthroughs so I can kind of... Uh rank up things evenly. But I don't know, I'm really liking that Nightblade. Even though it's probably going to have a high chance of getting it nerfed on the, at least being able to clear out rooms like you could, because it seemed like it was kind of spazzing out more than having a consistent <laughs> a consistent pattern. Abuse, summon skeletons. I'm definitely going to try this Necromancer next playthrough. Which will be in, ooh, episode 3 of Dungeon Souls. Uh, go ahead and, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game and all that stuff. Because I, I, I'm kind of enjoying this game. Even though roguelikes tend to be a dime a dungeon. Dumb, dime's a dungeon. Dime a dozen. This one is kind of scratching an itch. And it's, uh, it's definitely intriguing me. You can see where it has some balancing and some work to go in the early access uh, state that it's in. But, hey, I think it's a fun game. But, yeah. This has been Josh, and you can uh, catch me over at supernerdland.com. You can rate, comment, subscribe, tell me how much I suck down below, and uh, otherwise, stay tuned for more. Bye.